Good morning, Miami Art Studio. Welcome back to another episode of Moss News. My name is Maria Borges. And I'm Julian Sandoval. Today is Friday, October 18th, and Moss News starts now. Today on Moss News, Moss Means More will be covering the language arts department and how Ms. Katia Lopez manages it. Then our entertainment team will be covering The Voice and how one of our Moss students has recently joined the competition. Then a spotlight on FarmShare, an organization who recently made a visit on our campus and how they help students gain more community service hours. And lastly, a feature on the college fair and how it prepares students for the future. on our individual language arts class and often fail to see the bigger picture and the work the department does as a whole. Ms. Katia Lopez has been the head of the language arts department for many years. She does many activities including the book fair and the book selection. Let's see how she does it. Every day we attend school, go through all of our classes and then we head home. Despite such an easy cycle, what it takes to actually operate a school is anything but easy. Take Ms. Katia Lopez for example, who is in charge of the language arts department. She does everything in her power to ensure that all of her tasks are meaningful, rather than just some tedious chore. Hi everyone, my name is Elia Alemang and you're watching Mass Means More. As the head of the language arts department, Ms. Lopez has an important role, one that includes picking which summer reading books will be read by the students. This is just one of the many tasks she does to ensure our students' minds stay sharp during their two-month break. My name is Katia Lopez and my role is to make sure that my department um, has the highest standards of excellence possible to have strong leadership and to my goal is always to uh, ensure that the students are the ones that receive the benefit of whatever uh, decisions I make so I have to make sure that the decisions are good ones like the summer reading books the novels that they read. Ms. Lopez's positive attitude has clearly resonated with her students. She's touched the hearts of many students in the school. When asked about Ms. Lopez students only had positive things to say. She's helped me in numerous essays and in 10th grade I approached her to sponsor my club and she did. So ever since then we've been on a different type of journey as a sponsor and club organizer. All of Ms. Lopez's hard work as the language arts department head is crucial to our school. Without her, our mass family just wouldn't be the same. If you students see her in the halls, make sure to say a big thanks. Reporting for Mass News More, this has been Elia Lemang. Now back to Maria and Julian. As many of you may already know, one of our fellow Moss students participated on The Voice this past week. A very well-known show dedicated to showcasing people's vocal talents. Now we go to our entertainment team with Joanna Martinez and her experience thus far. The Voice is an American singing competition broadcasted on NBC, where rotating chairs full of judges search for their next great superstar. Mass is filled with many talented students, each with a unique gift. A passionate sophomore in the musical theater magnet attended the blind auditions and successfully chose her judge. Her audition was titled A Perfect Performance, with standing ovation from Blake Shelton and Kelly Clarkson. Now to Amanda, one of our mass correspondents, to get the inside scoop. Today we have a very special guest, Joanna Martinez. So we saw your incredible performance, you did amazing. What were some of the challenges that you faced? Ooh, I definitely would say that my number one challenge is that I picked a male song and I actually tend to gravitate towards male artists for whatever reason. Did I pick the right song? I just started doubting myself a lot and I mean it was stressful but it was worth it. So we saw that your family was there supporting you. How important was that for you? It was awesome because especially when people have these dreams I know that a lot of families sometimes aren't so supportive and they say okay but you know what's your backup plan let's be real um, so I'm just really thankful to have a family that is so supportive of me
How did it feel having your entire community coming together and watching you perform? It was definitely overwhelming and I mean, I was surprised to see so many people come out. It was raining that day, the weather was not good, but still they came out to support me and I couldn't be more grateful or appreciative. I'm, I'm so happy for all the love and support that I received, like I'm so grateful. I would love to work with Kelly because I like to sing a lot of pop. Music really helped me come out of my shell and I can't believe I'm here. So I noticed that in your interview, you wanted to choose Kelly, but at the end, you chose Blake. How come? You know, I walked in there thinking that I was going to go with Kelly just because I feel like I can relate to Kelly. She sings pop, I love her music, and she was also on a singing competition show, and she won. You know, we've been in the same places, in the same shoes, but when it came down to it, I loved Blake's pitch, and I liked a lot of the things that he was saying, and I followed my gut, and my gut told me to go with Blake. Thank you so much for allowing us to interview you. We wish you the best on the rest of your journey. Thank you so much, and thank you guys for having me. It was a pleasure. As the competitors come head to head this 17th season, we wish Joanna the best of luck on her competition journey. My name is Sasani Beasley, and this has been Mass Entertainment. One of Mass's primary goals is for us students to reach as many hours as we can possibly get. Due to this, our school is constantly offering different ways we can reach our 100 hour goal. Let's take a look at FarmShare, an organization that came to our school with high hopes to give students hours. Thank you for coming. My Miami Arts Studio is made up of students and teachers who love giving back. Each year, Mass partners with FarmShare to help those in the community. Hi, I'm Isabel Greiner with more on the story. FarmShare is a nonprofit organization that helps those in need by providing them with food. The farm share helps me give back to the community by allowing me to give the deserving people the food that they need because they can't afford it on a daily basis. It also helps the school and the community form a greater bond. This event is a great community service opportunity that has such a positive effect on the students at Moss and its surrounding community. Giving back to the community makes me feel both grateful and blessed for things that I have at home that not everybody can afford. It's amazing to see that the school can host an event to give back to the community and let them know that there's always somebody by their side. Make sure to keep a lookout for future community service opportunities like this one and see Mr. Meter in room 5206 for more information. For Mass News, I'm Isabel Greiner signing off. College is something that many of us students here at Mass will experience throughout our lives. Me included. It's important to inform ourselves of all the different colleges and application processes. We now go to Daniel Fernandez covering the college fair and how it helped us do just that this last week. Senior year has begun and with the many fantastic events that are happening, the class of 2020 is trying to figure out which amazing colleges in the United States will be the perfect fit for them. Luckily, it is that time of year again for Miami Art Studio to host the annual college fair. Sure, so my name is Brian Feener. I'm a freshman admissions officer at the University of Connecticut. Um, some of the programs we offer, we have about 115 majors uh, for undergraduates across 10 schools and colleges. Some of our most, most popular majors are the biological sciences and psychology. Uh, some of our more competitive majors are in business, fine arts, engineering, and nursing. Hi, my name is Tess Henderson. I'm an admissions coordinator at the University of North Florida. We are a medium-sized campus. We have approximately 17,000 students enrolled. Our most popular majors are communication, psychology, and criminal justice. The main thing about our university is that we're known for our small class sizes and supportive faculty. We interviewed a senior on how the college fair benefited him. Let's see what he says. In the college fair, you're able to talk to the different representatives from each school and they also have pamphlets and stuff like that, so you can look at all the different majors that they offer you. If you have any questions or inquiries about college, you can email or schedule an appointment with our CAP advisor, Mrs. Iglesias, at capmoss.youcanbook.me. Moss just wants to ensure that every senior is ready to receive their diploma on graduation day. Thank you for watching. My name is Daniel Fernandez. Back to you, Julian and Maria.
Thank you for watching this very special episode of Mass News. I'm Julian Sandoval. And I'm Maria Borges, signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to us on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Mass News High School Edition. But the fun's not over yet. Make sure to tune in every Monday morning to IGTV at Mass News HS for the episodes of the Mass Lineup. I'm Mira Rodriguez signing out.